Hello, my name is Johnson St. Johnson the 10th, and what you're about to see is a video of me not in exactly my greatest moment of my life, let alone a moment in my life. It was kind of like an out-of-body experience. I really remember nothing about what happened last night. And as I watched the footage, I realized I have said a lot of terrible things about myself. Uh, some very revealing things about myself. And I would like to make a lot of apologies to Oprah. You are an incredible woman, as I don't know what that was all about last night. If you would like to talk, I will send you my email. But after you see this, you're probably not going to want to ever speak to me. But for anyone about to watch the footage from last night, nothing's been changed. Nothing's been changed. I Don't ask me why it happened. I just want everyone to know the me that you see, so that way you know exactly what I can be like. Rather not hide any of my secrets from you. My name is Johnson St. Johnson the 10th, and here's this whatever it is. I, again, apologize for all of this. And the Oscar goes to, and the Oscar goes to, oh, thank you very much, I love it so much. You know what I think? I think that the Oscars are a bunch of bloody English term that means something. It's... Wait, where am I? How is this? This is in my farmhouse. You're not my chicken name, Steve. Who are you? Johnson St. Johnson's the 17th film recording studio. How the bloody hell did I end up in here? I was in England, then I went to Kentucky, then I went back to England, then I went to Russia, then I somehow ended up in North Korea in a, I don't know, some kind of weird base. I don't know, they came, it's, it's all of that. Who's Madison? Wait, who are you exactly? Besides the point, the Oscars, there's a bunch of baloney jokes. Then go, thank you, thank you, thank you, Oprah. You know what Oprah never did for me? She never wrote my back about smacking the week and I got me to Columbia. It, it, it would be nice, because you know, I was in the same category as him. Don't ask me how, but I was. And do you know who I am? My name is Johnson St. Johnson the 10th. That's right, I'm the first one with double digits. And you know what I got? I don't know. Do I know why I'm mad? Because did you watch the Oscar nominations? It's a bunch of baloney. Do you want to know why he deserves an Oscar? Because he made me cry. He made me cry like when my pet unicorn named Steve died. He made me cry like when my pet chicken named Steve died. He made me cry like when Steve died. Who oh, Steve? Number nine. Blade Runner 2049. Didn't date all the gnomes in this Where's Blade Runner? Where is it? You see this? 
know what this is? Greatest movie I've ever seen in my life. But why is it the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life? Because it made me cry like Logan made me cry about Penny Unicorn Steve. Um, Ryan Gosling's face. That's what it was. Ryan Gosling's face. Oh, that man has a face. Oh God. I oh, man has a face. Where's I going with this? Seventeen B. Oh, the wipe. No, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are the Illuminati. You know what the Illuminati is? Because I don't, and I need to know. But I feel like the Turtles are part of the Illuminati. You know, the, Illum the Illuminati. They, they, they do that. They do that. They make you wear the base. Don't ask me how I know. I just know. Pie? More specifically, cherry pie. Oh god, you go for some cherry pie right now. What? I really want some pie. Wait, does this have anything to do with the Oscars? Ew. It makes me drink. And five from my memo. I'm pooping. Reason number X. My teacher gave me a D on my math test once. What does this have to do with it? Lots of things, probably. You know, math. You take one plus one. You go bam. You go bam. I know what that does! BAM! Number 712! Oprah is the Illuminati! Yeah! Sounds about right. Georgina? Who's here? Many mistresses of mine, where are you? You haven't been to Disney World and they're like, Bruh, what are you doing here, bruh? You can't be here, bruh. You got drunk on the Magic Kingdom, right, bruh? But you know what? It was a drink. It was... What was it? I don't know. I didn't play. Number four! Fire trucks! You know what happened to me when I was a, sm a wee small child about... This big fire truck just went bam right over me. That's why I have this tie on my head all the time. Fire trucks go boom, 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 boom. They go bam, 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 bam. They go bam, bam, bam. Bam. Yeah. Take my Oscar from me. Hey! That didn't sound lovely. Oh, yes, Madam President. I would love a bathrub. Wait, what's a bathrub? And why do you sound like a man? Hold on a second. No, don't do it! Number three! Oprah will let me come visit her in a beach house in Columbia. Why can't I visit here, Oprah? I just want to go and I don't know where Columbia is, but I think you know where it is if you got a beach house there. I could be wrong. Or oh, I could be right. I could be right. Because I'm the smartest man in the world. You know what they call me in grade school? The man that got Oprah to take him to his to her beach house in Columbia. Number two. Oscars are baloney because my girlfriend dumped me. My girlfriend's name was Oscar. 
She was about five foot nine. She stood tall and proud, had a nice long beard and mustache, had hair in a man bunch type of way. Name was Oscar Van Oscar. I'm starting to think my girlfriend was a man and I really need some serious therapy right now. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never want to wonderful. Why you wreck me? Room number one as to why the Oscars are baloney. Because I'm the greatest actor of all time. Now, how am I the greatest actor of all time? Well, I will show you by showing you some pictures. BAM! 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 That's why I'm the greatest actor of all time. I've been with all the actors. I've done things you can't even imagine. I've played Batman. I've played an old man. I've played an old man again. I'm starting to rap all about my high school days. My last picture was a picture. And you know what they didn't do? They didn't give me the Oscar I deserve for that picture. God, these bloody folks. What oh, this is? This is what my Oscar should have looked like, but it just gave me bread. And those are the top ten reasons why I believe the Oscars are baloney. You have any complaints? Write them in the comment section below, and make sure you smash that like button and make sure you subscribe. That's all the time for today, laddies and daddies and kiddies and bloodies. And I'll see you all next time. Johnson St. Johnson, that 10th out. <laughs>